Hey guys, it's Kelly. Welcome back. Today's video is kind of a fun one. I want to talk about the products that just live in my purse. And I've had this on my two film list for so long. And I think this is a fun video because I know that if you wear makeup and you carry a purse or you carry a backpack, you can probably relate to this. I feel like we all have those products that just end up living in our purses because we reuse them so frequently. We're always grabbing them when we're going out. So this video, they're mostly gonna be lip products. That's what I keep in my purse. I know some people also keep like powders in their purse. I don't have oily skin, so that's not something I do, but I do have one type of powder product, so you'll see that. But these are mostly gonna be like my go-to lip products that always find their way into my purse. So many of these I've thought that I lost at one point, and then I had to dig through multiple purses and see, oh, they're just in this purse from when I wore it last week. So let's go ahead and hop into it. All right, first of all, I always carry some type of a lip balm in my purse. It does change, but I feel like I always have to have a product like this. And lately it's been the Bite Agave Lip Mask. And this is funny, I told you guys, let me, let me grab my other one. Okay, this was my original Agave Lip Mask that I purchased myself. And do you see this? Uh, Cass, who is sitting right next to me, he got a hold of this and i shared this in another video before and it's funny he's not the type of dog to get into stuff to chew but for some reason that day he did and he it was the most hilarious sight because i walked over to him and he had squeezed it out onto his paw and this is the champagne one so it's like got a pink tint to it and he just like has this on his paw and he's looking at me like I didn't do it, I swear. But I shared that on my story because I thought it was so funny and then Bite sent me a replacement, which was so kind. And this has basically lived in my purse ever since. I have to have lip balm on me 24 seven. I feel like it is so windy, you guys. I filmed a few other videos today with a, with a different makeup look on and it's been very windy through all of them. So if you've been hearing that a lot, we're actually under a wind advisory, which I didn't even realize was a thing, but I've always got to have lip balm, especially this time of year. The other product I always like to keep in there before we get into like the actual lipsticks is this. This is my powder sunscreen. It's the Derma E Sun Protection Mineral Powder with SPF 30. Now this time of year in the winter, the sun is not out as many hours of the day, so I'm not as concerned with this. I'm still concerned with sunscreen. I apply it every day in the morning, but especially in the summer months or a couple months ago when we had sun for longer hours of the day, this was especially important to me and I was reapplying throughout the day and using this to reapply. I've said before, I use a an actual sunscreen in the mornings and then this is just a touch up powder for me. And nowadays we don't see as much of the sun. It's it's already setting. I'm filming this three. It's already starting to get dark, but still having a product like this is always great to touch up. So I like to keep that in my purse. All right, now for the lip products. Now I will say, it's not like I have every single one of these in my purse at once, but these are the ones that always happen to find their way in there. So they're mostly lip glosses, but the first one is actually like a lip balm with a tint. So this is the Physician's Formula Organic Wear Lip Balm in the shade Tawny Nude. And here's a a swatch of it I have done I actually did a sponsored video with this collection but this obviously is not sponsored but wanted to share that with you guys but this color is one of those colors that I just feel the need to always have on me because regardless of what color lipstick I originally put on in the day I can just pop this over and it gives your lips like a little bit of a tint but the color is not bold enough that it's gonna mess with whatever you put on before it. I hope this is making sense. I'm not describing it very well, but I also feel like the tone is somewhat neutral, so it matches a lot of looks. It's just an easy, your lips but better throw on balm and it's super nourishing. I have one bullet lipstick and then, I'm not kidding, the rest are lip glosses, but this bullet lipstick is my Milk Makeup Cream Lipstick and the main reason this lives in my purse is because it's in my project pan, so I'm just always trying to use it. Any opportunity I get, I'm trying to finish it up, as we know, so that will stay in my purse. I try to reapply as often as I can. Now for the glosses, the gloss I'm wearing today, this is the e.l.f. Lip Gloss in Natural. Mine is broken, and this is a really, really pigmented formula, so it's almost like a liquefied lipstick. So this one is one I like to at least grab my phone and use it as a mirror or use some sort of a mirror. Whereas all the other ones I'm gonna mention are pretty sheer. 
And a lot of times I like throwing in more sheer lip glosses in my purse because I don't really need to look at what I'm doing to apply it. But with these two, I like to look in a mirror, but the Physicians Formula one, I don't have to. So this one I actually just pulled out of my purse for this video. This, I wanna show you guys how much of this I have used. This is the Becca Glow Gloss in Rose Gold. There's a ton of it missing. And this color is pretty much a dupe for the original shade of the Fenty Gloss Balm, but it's actually a little bit more pigmented. And I find the formula a little bit more comfortable and less sticky. So that's a color that I always throw in there, especially if I'm wearing more of a warm tone look, this pairs really nicely with it. Another nude I basically always have in my purse is the shade Fuel. This is from Urban Decay. I have found this in like coat pockets, in my wallet, just anywhere because I wear it pretty frequently. And it's nice kind of a cream finish. There's the swatch on the end. It has a little bit more opacity to it, but again, I feel like because it's a gloss, I don't really need to look in a mirror. I can just apply it and it's not gonna go out of the lines, or if it does, it's not gonna be incredibly noticeable. And then finally, this last one is, we're just gonna categorize as the entire brand, but I grabbed two specific shades, but the Persona Cosmetics lip glosses, out of everything in this video, besides maybe just like lip balm and sunscreen, these this formula is the one that ends up in my purse the most uh whether i'm wearing the shade honey toffee any of them but my favorite is peach and honestly peach would have gone really cute with this look today and i've used a lot of this up actually there's the swatch of peach right there the reason i like this formula is because it is a little bit more on the sheer side but it looks really nice over a lipstick. It looks really nice on its own as like just a very soft, glossy look. Or my favorite way to wear it is with a lip liner drawn around and kind of smudged on the inside. So that one I like to wear if I have on a warmer toned look. And then if I'm wearing something more cool toned, this shade is was from like the second collection from Persona Cosmetics. And this is the shade Pink but I'm so excited because they just announced that they're coming out with two more shades. One is gonna be a little bit more of a cherry tone, and then one, it, uh, the other one looks very similar to pink, but it seems a little bit more mauve cool tone, which I feel like will be perfect for a cool toned eye look or just an everyday look. So they actually told me they were sending those to me, which I'm so excited because the mauve shade, I was planning on buying anyways because this is my favorite lip formula. Like I said, they're constantly in my purse. They're, I'm always like, did I lose that? Oh no, it's in that purse or that purse or that purse. Like if I'm going anywhere and wanna have a lip to touch up, 99% of the time, this is what I'm grabbing. This truly is just my go-to formula. But I wanna hear from you guys down below. Do you have makeup items that just live in your purse? And if you do, do they look similar to mine? Do you have just a purse full of nude lip glosses? Or do you have like some pops of color in there? Do you carry around powder? What lives in your purse? I definitely think sunscreen and chapstick should live in the purse. Those for me are like the essentials, but these are some of the other fun ones that I frequently find making their way into my purse or my pocket or my wallet. So I hope this video was fun for you guys and I hope you're enjoying Vlogmas so far and I'll go ahead and see you in my next video. Bye.